All right, guys, so this is going to be part three of the private pick. Yes, that is the third episode of this first pick in general, but it's going to be the third video of the pick. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, it's, 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 it gets better and better, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and roll it into the video. All right. You don't have to have an empty tote in here, would you? That, um, that, you don't, that you can part away with. If not, I can... I uh, don't think I do. All good. Not right this Minute, we might find one in somewhere within a minute. Right, that's fine. Ain't one out. Let me step outside past you. I mean, if not, it's all good. Get the baby shoes. I got the shoes already pulled out there. I saw some of these shoes here. I just got. I ain't really went through them. See what I got? Yeah. I use the app called Check Check just to make sure they're authentic and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know about these. Got to. If they're authentic, they're about 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. They're not Harajas. What are they? Do you know on top of your head? Um, I look them up they're not right free runners that's fine they're nikes I'll, I'll throw them in there so this is four Yeah, I'm not I'm about to make numerous trips up here. <laughs> uh question, have you tested all this and all that or not? Um I'm just kidding, I'm gonna take it every I'm guy. To think. Um I don't think I've tested this one. Okay. But I've tested everything else. The the Super Nintendo works, but you got to play with it. That's why I, I usually open them up, clean them. Yeah. So yeah. And that's probably what and that's probably all that needs yeah, to yeah, clean. Little, that's most of the time that's what they need. Yeah. I stepped some grease or something, yeah, sticking everything. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to put you guys down and get all this stuff out real quick. All right, guys, so check this out. So we just got done picking through basically two containers, even though we didn't get to the full second container. This is literally like part one, part two uh, of this series. And I'm going to show you guys everything I got. But before I do, I'm going to introduce you to the man that made it. The man that made it happen. How you, you doing? You can go ahead and introduce yourself. So. Tim. Nice to meet y'all. A good guy. He's been collecting for how long now? <clears throat> Over 20-something years. Over 20-something years, you guys. And uh, he has some really, really good stuff. And uh, he... Uh, we actually met at a uh, in-person auction a while back probably what nine months ago it's been it's been a minute yeah and uh, he randomly hit me up with a phone call and said hey getting out of the ebay business and that's while we're here uh this is going to be a numerous video series numerous times coming back uh we hadn't even scratched the surface yet and there's a lot of opportunity here and this is going to be like one of my main sourcing spots for a little while until we can you know conclude how much he wants to get rid of and all that and how much stuff i can actually take um but i'm going to show you guys this real quick so we actually filled up the whole truck i mean it's literally filled uh i can't open up this side because this thing right here will fall but i mean you have all types of toys collectibles lots and lots of video games there's 64 stuff um he had a lot of really great stuff you guys um, a lot of nike shoes very cool um and then over here got a couple of got a nike bag mizuno i mean really cool hats like look at that very cool just need to be cleaned up a little bit some star wars stuff lots of consoles and that's not it then we got more video game stuff all that good stuff so uh we came to a, a deal of a thousand dollars we're gonna shake the hand again on camera i already gave him the money and uh yeah thousand dollars for all that i think it's a steal i think it's fair for more than fair for me um and uh but yeah we, we're coming back for more i told him give me about two weeks and uh we'll we're gonna make another plan uh, to get back out here so maybe do another fill up of the truck but i got a lot of work to do uh with that being said i'm gonna catch tim uh tim later and we're gonna i'm gonna go to the house because i'm tired we've been out here for <laughs> six, six seven hours, hours six seven hours so just <laughs> constantly going through i know i didn't have that much footage but it's hot closing space trying to get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time because he's ready to get all this stuff out of here so uh, but you guys will obviously see the recap the best of my ability when I get home, so we'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys, so we're actually on the road. We're about uh, 30 minutes away from uh, my house. 
Um, I am going to do a breakdown, uh, but it might be over a course of maybe two different videos because there's so much that we got. Or I might just do it all in one sitting, just not do any of the sole comps on the screen because with this type of stuff, it's very hard to do that. It's just because it's just the amount of stuff. There's no way I can fit it in one, two, or even maybe three videos of just showing you guys what we have uh, without making it too boring. But uh, one thing I do want to mention, um, so during the negotiation of all of this stuff, my man Tim, um, he, he used to do eBay. He's getting out of it to kind of give you guys the backstory. He's getting out of eBay. Um, I don't know if I said that in the intro or not. And uh, he just basically wants all this stuff gone as soon as possible, but he understands that we need to make money over here. So uh, the negotiation went like this. So, Mr. Tim, so what do you think about price? Everything that we got, I got a general idea of what I think I can get for some stuff. There's some stuff I'm taking a gamble on. Um, and uh, he was like, he's like, well, how about you shoot out the first number? As a, you know, as a negotiator, you never shoot out the first number. So, uh, and I think I'm pretty sure uh, Tim understood that too, because he was like, you know what? How about 1100? 1100 is still a is, is is a steal for everything that I got. In my opinion, I think it's more than fair. Uh, but all I had was a thousand dollars cash. Uh, so I told him, hey, thousand dollars cash right now. And he said, uh, you know what? Let's do it. Shook hands. That is what we agreed upon. This now. One thing I do want to say is me, I'm not stingy for money by no means. So at a thousand dollars, I definitely think there's plenty of wiggle room there to make a good profit. Um, the only thing that I told him was uh, whenever I come back up here for the second, third, fourth, tenth trip, however long it takes me to get through everything, um, I did tell him that I will pay it forward in the back end of how much we get uh, for like our tenth haul or whatever. So like this haul might be a thousand, right? I go home, I do the numbers and it might be let's just say four grand five grand let's just say five grand just to make it easy and then uh the next time we go out there he might be like i tell you what let's do another thousand i'm gonna be like you know let's do 1200 or 1300 or 14 1500 like i said i'm gonna pay it back it's just going to be towards the back end of everything that we're doing because you know we got gas money we gotta we gotta spend to get up here and all that even though it's about an hour away so in the end it's all gonna equal out so some of you some people who watch this video might be like wow thousand dollars too cheap well for one we agreed on that but two i'm also a good person and i understand the value of stuff so if i make ten, you know 10 times my money obviously i'm gonna pay it back towards the back end so just want to make that clear you guys because i you know you know me i always got i like to make things very crystal clear on how i'm gonna process everything how i'm gonna do it and i want you guys to understand that as well um but uh yeah we'll see you guys at the house uh shout out to tim for doing all this for us um and we have a lot of content that's going to be happening from these next few uh uh, pick up so like I said it might be 10 hauls it might be 20 hauls I don't know but he has a lot a lot a lot to show us and we just scratched the surface so uh yeah much love with we'll you guys at the house all right you guys check it out man so we're at the house and this is actually many many hours later and it's a beautiful night it is a beautiful night you guys and uh we got everything unloaded from the truck I took a what make an hour nap maybe mm -hmm. if that yeah, about an hour now you guys I'm exhausted I got up at 6 this morning and then we've been picking for about 6 to 7 hours and then we didn't get out, or at least I didn't get out of uh, Sylvania till about to about 3.30 roughly and then came home mom came over brother came over that good stuff and just showing everything I got now I'm going to show you guys what I got normally I show you guys sold comps that type of stuff, I'll try to do that on a handful of things, but the thing is we have so much stuff. And the reasoning, instead of me waiting till tomorrow to record all this, is because I'm kind of itching to get some of the stuff listed tonight, if possible. If not, we'll record tonight and then start listing tomorrow. But uh, we spent $1,000 on everything. And anytime you get $1,000 capital and stuff, you know, it's kind of urgent to get some of that stuff listed. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, roughly everything I got got to move some stuff around. It's kind of a tight squeeze in here But I'm gonna do my best to show you guys uh, either way Let me know down in the comment section after I show you guys everything of what you guys think I'm pro uh, potentially going to make and then at the uh, a different video I will I'll kind of explain how much we, we roughly made or during this video I'll tally up all the money and I'll write it down in the chat so go ahead and do all your guesses right now in the chat and then uh We'll, we'll figure that out towards the end of this video for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so uh, I kind of separated a few things. We have all the video game stuff here, and I'm pretty sure there might be a handful of other video games scattered throughout, uh, but a lot, a lot of good stuff. So um, so the stuff about the video games, um, Tim basically was telling me what worked, what didn't work, and honestly, 
uh, I couldn't really keep up with it because it's just so much stuff. So, uh, so it's going to be understandable of me not sure what's going to be working and what's not going to be working. Uh, so we got, uh, I, know, I know this isn't video games, but this is a Volvo, uh, let's see, little thing for, for, for a vehicle. Very cool. Uh, then we got some PS1s. Looks like that one might be a little sticking, a little sticky on that one, but that's fine. Oh, we got Siphon Filter 2. A little bonus game in there. Um, oh, no, I wish I didn't push that in there. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of PS1s. There's like a Super Nintendo here that needs to be tested all that good stuff and like i said there's a lot of the stuff he said that works a lot of stuff that doesn't work i know you guys can't really see in here ps2 another regular nintendo uh there's micro cassettes in there there's three xbox 360 i mean literally just tons and tons of stuff that needs to get tested and all that good stuff so uh, i won't go too in depth with that but you guys know video game stuff uh kills so uh, yeah, there's that, and then, then we got like little things. I'm not sure what they go for. I just I like brand new stuff. So this is a uh, Ultimate Werewolf Deluxe Edition. So I'm not sure what that goes for. Um, this thing right here doesn't go for much. A little Lego Batman it says lunchbox with a removable cape, and it does have the the sealed Blu-ray in there. Um, then we got a little PS1 game stone in here. So we got Robot. So I actually did research on this Robot Arena brand new sealed now it does have some wear but this thing is brand new sealed um but uh last one i saw sold for 50 bucks so that's a little 50 bucks right there and then you got vigilante 8 for the ps1 that's extremely cool uh all back here you got a handful of other uh video game stuff but uh all this is going to be just controllers more controllers here guitar hero uh microphone nintendo 64 controllers in there then you got Nintendo Wii's in here, and look at this. You have uh, Twisted Metal 3. Very cool. Um, if you guys never played Twisted Metal or Vigilante, you guys did not have a childhood. I apologize in advance. Um, there's uh, two Wii's, a uh, Fat PS2 Connect. I know you guys can't see that too much, but just tons and tons of stuff. And then the money maker, the real, real money maker. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's money maker here. But this stuff right here is going to be crazy. So, um,. If you guys are watching this, make sure you guys go to the store. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring this box here so you guys can see the games. All right, so here's that little magical box here. So this box, uh, if I had to take a guess, I mean, again, I know some stuff is in rougher shape, some stuff is not. But if I had to put a, a minimum on this box, I'm thinking 500 bucks, if not more. But I could be wrong at the same time. Just really depends on what works, what doesn't. They got like all these NES games, a little DVD player little dvd game thing for ps1 or ps2 then you got nintendo 64 007 you got a game gear now the game gear actually low-key might work i don't know if you guys can see that that green screen there so it might just need new batteries and you got nintendo ds's that he threw in there you got oh harry potter for the ds look at that very cool i didn't know that was in there uh we resort another ds he said they do all work uh, they just don't have charges for them, so again, we might have to uh, buy some. But then look at that, you got a Game Boy Micro. Just very, just, I mean, just really cool stuff, you guys. Um, regular Game Boy doesn't have the faceplate or the back cover, but that's fine. We can always sell it uh, for parts. Um, we got some stuff down here. Let's see. You have, you have Hook for the Nintendo Game Boy, Batman for the. For the Game Boy, Snoopy's Magic Show. Wow, that's pretty cool. Like I said, whenever I saw all this, I didn't look at everything. I did look at quite a bit, but you know, there's some stuff in here. Asteroids for the PS1. Uh, look at this, Clear Game Boy Advance, and it does have Pokemon uh, video. That's really cool. What's up, wifey? Mm -hmm. We got like just random, random games, and this, these things right here are pretty cool. Cleaning kit. Nintendo Game Boy, that's pretty cool. Star Fox. Willow, that's pretty cool. Super Mario World. Mortal Kombat 3. Like I said, some of the stuff we're going to be keeping for ourselves. Uh, Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all of them are authentic, all that good stuff. Um, and then there's a couple PS3 games, but the 
the Nintendo 64 games are really cool. Like, there's Super Mario 64. I think this we already had like that one. This goes for like 20 bucks. No, it goes for more than that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no? Super Smash Bros. Um, there's actually two Super Smash Bros in there. But uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Mario Kart 64. Like I said, some really, really solid titles. There's the Chess Master. Stargate? Yep, Stargate's one of them. Then you got Zelda. Ocarina of Time and another Super Smash Bros. Like I said, they're, they're kind of in rough shape, but I mean, they're not, you know, they're definitely worth money still. Tetris and Spider-Man, that's for the Game Gear right there. Super Mario Land. Yeah, so then right there, Super Mario Land. So, again, this little box right here um, is going to make us some really good money. Uh, you know, assuming stuff works, you know, that type of stuff. I mean, like I said, I'll clean up all this stuff. It's going to be a long, long week because my goal, and to be honest with you, I've been listening like crazy lately, but my goal is to get through all of this in two weeks. That way we can go back uh, to Mr. Tim and dig some more because he apparently has a whole bunch of more video games too. So this is uh, this is going to be amazing. But yeah, that's going to be that little box there. All right, then look at this. If you guys don't know about football helmets, football helmets do very well. Um, I love the inside of this. It has like that Jaguar orange and blue or teal, whatever it's called. Um, uh, helmet, so that's pretty cool. All right, then in here, he's got some old Lego stuff. I did get a book for the wife. You got me a book? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's about, but I like the cover of it. It just seemed like something you would, you would enjoy. So I did get that for the wife. Um, yeah, then I mean, there's just all types of stuff, you guys. I mean, there's cameras. Like I said, a lot of stuff. This one's a, a Minolta uh, X700. Not sure if there's value there. Um, a lot you know, more cameras. Uh, I don't know what that is. And then there's a, uh, what is this, a video camera, I think. Oh no, look at this, this is pretty cool. This is an actual Canon EOS Rebel camera. Lots and lots of stuff to go. In the end, I'm definitely going to show you guys the rough value of everything. Uh, and then you got a couple of these units too. Um, Theflock, I'm not sure what that says, Dolby, I'm not sure what vehicle that goes to, but yeah, like I said, just tons of it, and we're just going to be working our butts off, we do have a Nike bag here, um, Nike bag here, this is P2G, I don't know if that means ping, but um, that's a little putter there, and you got TaylorMade R9 driver, Taylor made R580 XD driver um, and then you also have a Mizuno uh, golf bag and then a Nike bag um, and then I have a little mascot here Mario this is going in my uh, loft for my video game slash movie theater room so that is really cool from 98 I think let me see no nope, sorry I'm way off it's from 2014 uh, made by Jax J-A-K-K-S so yeah that's definitely mine right there I know it's kind of dark in here, and I apologize, you guys, but I'm going to do my best. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Like, look at this. It's got a Trolls Build-A-Bear. That's pretty cool. A little, little Trolls Build-A-Bear. Oh, yeah. Can you hold that there? All right, so the wife is going to join me in this. This actually works out better. <laughs> so, uh, Trolls Build-A-Bear. You got a Nest thermostat. I thought this thing right here was the coolest thing. And this is actually a Mark McGuire uh, graphic t-shirt. Oh, look at that. But it says 1998 home run tour, and then then on the back it literally says Mark McGuire 1998 home run tour single season home run king 1998 at the bottom. Uh, that's the only gravity that I realistically found. Could be more there later on, but we don't know. Um, there's some Nikes in, with the box. Uh, believe it or not, this Craco Craco I think it's Craco Made a one CB radio. Um, actually does very well because it goes for like 20 25 bucks plus shipping all day long. Um, we did get uh, this. I got this for the wife. I don't know if she won it, but it says Def Leopard and it's like her perfect size. So I did get this for the wife. It is a extra large. So yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. So we got that. Yeah. So, so I got that for the wife. Um, and this is actually a clarinet. It goes for $100 all day long. We uh, looked that up. And look at that. More video games. Island 2. And I think uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee was in here somewhere. This is Smarty Pants. And it's, oh, look at that. Digimon 3 for the PS1. That's got to be good. Rock, oh, yes. 
goes between 30 and 50 bucks. Okay, so the Mark McGuire shirt goes for like 30 to 50 bucks according to the according to the wifey. Then you got a two for one here, Minecraft and Mortal Kombat X. Um, yeah, like I said, more stuff. Then you got plushies down here. Look at that. Little plushies. Then you got this thing is Oneida. Oneida. But it says 18 slash 8 stainless little teapot thing. All right, then you got all these shoes. All these shoes. I'm like I said, I'm not going to go through them all, but I mean, literally, you got Hoka's size 18 Jordans, <laughs> uh, Keen shoes, lots and lots of Nike Air Maxes. Uh, these are just very cool. Love the pattern. Uh, more Keen, or no, yeah, yep, more Keens. Um, there's a bunch of Nikes in here. So there's that box. And right down here, you got more shoes. <laughs> you got some Heelys. Look at that. Very cool. Got the Heelys saying all on the bottom. Anywhere or, between 30 and 60. Yeah, 30 and 60. Um, more Nikes. I thought these were cool. These are golf shoes. Um, they are a tonic. E tonic. I don't know. Uh, but it says Goodyear on the bottom. So I thought that was kind of cool. Might not be worth anything, but again, we just threw them in there. We looked these up. These things are going for 80 all the way up to 100 bucks. So I think these are going to do well. Um, but just tons and tons of shoes. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Plus, we're in the time crunch. And now I'm going to get to some of the other stuff. All right, and then uh, there's a couple of boxes in here. But you got this one right here just filled with watches. Tons and tons of watches. I like dealing with this type of stuff just to, you know, just look up each one. And whatever ones we don't want to list individually, we'll just lot them up. Um, but you can't go wrong with a, a, a watch lot, especially when there's a lot of like Timex in here. There's Siku, Saiku. It's like a little. Oh, I thought it was Seiko. It might be Seiko. I don't know. But there's tons of stuff in there. All right, and then this box, just a bunch of like ninja parts, stuff like that. There is a Samsung security camera system in here. Not sure the value of that, but got thrown in. But a lot of ninja parts. All right, then in here you got some plushies and. Then, Watch this, you guys. It's pretty cool. Pull that string for me. The parts in two minutes. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, that's some plushies in here and stuff like that. This is Builder Bear. It's a plain little bear. Um, but it is Builder Bear. And then all these are just really old Legos, like old, old Legos. So, I'm not sure if there's any mini pigs or anything, but I just still throw that in. Um, believe it or not, these are, are Apex uh, insoles and I won't lie, uh, they're, they're like little, you know, little $8 a piece, you know, nothing too crazy, but easy to list, easy to ship. I thought these were cool, don't know what the value, but these are snap-on one pair of socks. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're snap-on, you know, made in the USA, so I figured why not, but uh, there's like a little controller in here, but, but yeah, there's that box. All right, and then you got a Carrolltown little village thing, um, I'm not sure the value on that, but Carrolltown was done good in the past. Um, and then over here, right, then over here, you got like this thing right here, which is worth like 10 bucks pl uh, plus shipping. So not worth a whole lot, but it's definitely a cool piece. Um, then you just have like just randomness in here. Like, you know, you got some Eagles CDs. The wife might want that for her car, but Def Leppard, there you go. Um, then Looney Tunes, Spotlight 2 collection. Not sure if that's worth anything, but it's Looney Tunes. And you got more Genesis games. So you got two of these. These are Sony PCGA-CWN1. Not sure what they are, but there's two of them. There's the second one. Um, little regular Nintendo manual. Got a little Sony calculator thingy. Mad 96. Ton more video games. I just look at that, you guys. Just tons and tons and tons and tons. Tons of money. Um, then you got iPod. Again, you guys, this is the, the, the crazy thing about this is that this isn't even scratching the surface of what Tim has. Like, it's crazy. But down in here, uh, this is actually the lid to those old Legos. But, uh, you know, got some baseball gloves. I got me a Mickey Mouse phone because I'm keeping that for myself. And you got Ninjago 705. Or wait, is this one? Yeah. Ninjago 70588 Lego set. Probably going to be keeping that for myself. A lot more uh, the RC car down there. Got the MMA like helmet thing, and then you got uh, a lot of these. These are only going for about like eight bucks plus shipping. So little easy list, easy ship type stuff. Move that there. Oh, and I thought this was cool. Marlboro Big Sky Radio Lantern. 
I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's actually new in the box. Looks like it caught fire somewhere, but that is still just extremely cool. And then we got three belt buckles. Um, apparently he has a ton more, like, like absolutely a ton more. And we just haven't found them yet. But I thought this one was pretty cool. It's a Ford one. Like, look at that. Ford 1976, serial number 433, made in USA. That's pretty cool. You got this one, Walmart Transportation Safety Award. <laughs> I thought that was extremely cool. And then you got Red Man Tobacco. Um, very cool, made in USA. So I think that's pretty cool. And right, you got a couple, a couple records. I'm not big into records, but you got you know Revolver for the Beatles, more Beatles, more Beatles. Uh, Martin Luther King. There you go. And then Car Wash. So you know, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of. Uh, that's what I was saying, right? Uh, so not a lot of that. Um, there's more watches in here. Um, you know, a couple little random little Monster Jam things. I don't know. I was kind of throwing them in there. Then you got this uh, Sony tape recorder, which actually does really well even for parts. Then you got this uh, eight-track player, very cool. Uh, there's actually none listed. This is actually a Kmart version, none listed, but two sold. So I was pretty pretty surprised about that. Um, and then right here, you got some Jordans, Jordan 45s, uh, and then oh yeah, here's all the baby ones, mm -hmm. little baby Jordans. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, no sleep on on baby on baby Jordans because they will do well. All right, guys. So next we got this big old Yoda. It is not new. Uh, it, I mean, it could be new. It's just open box that type of stuff. But it's going to have to be sold as pre-owned. But easy, still going to get about sixty to eighty bucks plus shipping on that. Um, and then down there is a Coleman brand new coffee maker. Um, going for fifty bucks plus shipping. That one is brand new. We already checked that. But fifty bucks uh, plus shipping on that. And then we got all these Kirby parts here. Um, there is a Kirby vacuum cleaner that's literally like new that we are going to be getting next time. Um, but these are all the parts to that actual same uh, Kirby one. Then you got a magic bullet in the box. You don't find them in the box often, you guys. Oh uh, yeah, but you got more watches in here. Um, a lot of cool stuff and there's more watches and phones and stuff in here. And then that fat loss monitor, if you guys don't know about that, that thing goes for some crazy money. Um, then you got some Nerf stuff, brand new Care Bear. Then you got a whole bunch of hats. Um, hats and just random thermostat stuff down there. Um, I would show you guys, but it's kind of <laughs> in the way. But uh, then we got some of these chairs, which are really cool. Because right here it says, Augusta, home of the Masters chairs. And there's two of them. I'm going to do a little research. Not sure what they're worth. But, you know, Master stuff can go for some crazy money. All right, then we got to make room over here, you guys. So... Uh, this is Monopoly NASCAR Collector's Edition. Brand new. It does have a seal issue on the back side, but it is brand new sealed technically. Um, but it only goes for about 20 bucks plus shipping. It doesn't go for much. Um, then you got this, this car and home portable coffee maker. This thing is actually lightly used and it sells really good on eBay. And then this thing right here. GPS map 196 Garmin. This thing's going for some really good money. I think 250. I could be wrong on that. That could be potentially a quarter of my money back right there just in one item. Uh, then you got these Amcor HEPA Tower filters. I saw one listed for 50, none sold in the past 90 days. We'll check worth point to see what it's worth. But I figured why not because of the amount of stuff we've already gotten. Then underneath here we got a couple more Nike boxes. All right, and then we got this electric football tutor games um believe it or not this thing's actually going for about 40 to 50 bucks plus shipping i was very surprised about it he said all the pieces are there um but we will obviously verify that as we go through everything um <coughs> yeah, chainsaw master leather face that's pretty cool got some funkos we got lloyd oh, look what it is terry <laughs> <laughs> so two dumb and dumber uh fungal pops might, might even just sell those together to be honest uh, I scanned this, couldn't find it on eBay, so it might be a worth point thing, or maybe just type it in. But like, I like I like new in box stuff just because it's cool. Uh, this is a Sony Mavica camera. I thought this was interesting right here. This says Tom, Tommy Armor, like Under Armor, but Tommy Armor Deluxe Iron Club covers. So it says it's a three through a sand wedge. So yeah, right-handed. So I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. I never seen anything like that. Um, this is a digital thermostat, a Brayburn 1020. Then you got this thing right here, not worth a whole lot, but it's worth like 10 bucks plus shipping. Then you got this one, so this bumper pop right here was in 
you know good condition like the other ones this thing's worth about 50 bucks plus shipping but i'm not sure what it would be in this condition um not sure what that is kazila watering timer i'm not sure if that has any value and then you got the andy griffith show dvd sealed all right guys so check it out uh before i do my whole rant i do want to show you guys something so i realized in the last episode i didn't show off the 500 dollars uh hat that i found um and the reasoning for that was whenever i was editing i thought it was in there but i guess i accidentally deleted that little portion but this is the hat right here i'm gonna show you guys up close all right so i brought it over here to the light so you guys could see it but look at that you guys a very beautiful hat very vibrant colors it does have a little staining on the inside um it is 15 percent wool 85 percent acrylic has the game on the thing right there and it does have a slight tear there's one listed for 600 um so due to that little thing right there i, I moved it down to 500 and that could be it and to be honest with you it's really not that big of a deal somebody could easily fix that no problem uh but i got it listed for 500 dollars, and there's four watchers on this hat so very beautiful hat and the fact that we picked that amongst all the stuff that we found i think we have a pretty good eye for stuff too but mr tim man he had a really great eye for some of this stuff but that is a beautiful hat all right guys so that was a lot to go through i know the picking portion wasn't as long because i didn't realize it was that short of footage um but it was still like a 30 minute video because we still did so much a lot of talking uh, in this episode and that's because we kind of have to talk about it um and i actually have this thing pulled up where it keeps all of my sales from this haul so and I, and I kept that with it specifically for this reasoning when we got to the last part of this pick i can kind of see where i'm at um in this haul so what i will say though uh whenever this airs today which would be saturday night it's, it's friday night for me but for saturday night, uh, saturday night for you guys as a you know right, like right now <laughs> gosh i can't talk tonight um i uh it's been exactly one week okay so as of right now it's been six days but as of right now, it's been one week. I know I'm explaining it way too much right now. Um, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yes, so within one week, these are what my sales are. So we have sold essentially 34, or I guess 33 items um, for a little bit of money. But I also did a video game local deal for $1,320. That's not including a lot of the video games that I've already sold from the haul, etc., 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 and um these are the numbers so with that haul plus the 33 items we have sold uh on ebay we are at two thousand three hundred and one dollars and thirty nine cents uh is what we have made so far minus the thousand dollars that we spend for everything right around the thirteen hundred dollar mark but then after fees and taxes and all that stuff that has to come out because we uh you know we gotta we gotta do it right uh, if i had to put a number on it we're probably around maybe $800 in the profit, uh, which is fine, which is fine. I'm definitely not going to complain about that. And the fact that we did that in technically less than a week, um, that makes me extremely proud. So um, with that being said, also in total, as of right now, as of right, right now, uh, we have $4,767 worth of items listed. And that, that is including some of the, uh, all the stuff that has already sold, but we've listed over $4,700 worth of stuff. But then that's not even including the shoes, it's not including the ninja parts, it's not including the Kirby parts, uh, it's not including any of the watches, and it's just, it's honestly, just, I thought I could get it all done within two weeks, you know, if you take out the watches, I'll definitely get it done in two weeks, but if you add the watches in, <laughs> it's probably going to be over two weeks, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting the watches out to the side, get all the shoes listed, I haven't listed a single shoe, um, I'm basically getting them authenticated uh, for the ones that are worth like you know good money, getting them authenticated through Check Check, um, if you guys don't know what it is, just look it up on the Play Store or your Apple uh, your Apple Store, just look up Check Check, uh, and it's basically they verify whether or not it's authentic or if it's fake, um, I use it all the time, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm in the middle of getting a bunch of them checked uh behind me because i'm a very productive person i try to get stuff done as quick as possible but the fact that we've uh sold over 2300 dollars worth of stuff in less than a week um i was keeping high expectations for myself because because tim has such a really good eye the fact that you know a lot of the stuff that i look well, i didn't really look up a ton but I, so for the stuff that i looked up while i was doing the private pick i kind of figured i was like okay wow this thing has like an 80 percent sell through rate wow this has a 60 percent sell rate uh sell through rate now there were some things that i got that didn't work or they were corroded or whatever the case is um 
which is fine because we still have over forty seven hundred dollars listed. And that's not including all the stuff that I just said. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 talking really fast because this stuff gets me so excited, and I just have such a true passion for this, you guys. I apologize for for talking so fast, but I have such a passion for this, and I can't wait till next Saturday to do the 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 next private pick. So the, so it'll be the second series, I guess per se. Um, but you guys saw everything that we got really really good solid inventory quick inventory that sold um, Like I said a lot of stuff even has watchers on it So it's just a matter of time before it sells then once I get the shoes so uh, listed I'll be a happy camper <laughs> then I can start slowly going through the rest of stuff like the watches so uh, But yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna roll you guys back into the video Thank you guys so much for 5200 subscribers. We hit 5200 absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you guys so much for that But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. Let's go and get back into the video but yeah, with that being said though, I'm, there's still a whole lot that you guys have, haven't seen. Um, but with that being said, just go to my eBay store and just kind of look at what I'm listing because it is a lot of stuff, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm sweating my butt off. But in two weeks, we're going back. So September 3rd, I believe, we're going back. Uh, and we're just scratching the surface, apparently. According to Tim, we just scratching the surface. And that right there scares the living heck out of me. <laughs> so, uh, but no, we got a lot of work to do. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to tackle all this. I might tackle a few of it tonight just because it's the type of person I am. Um, but yeah, wish us luck. Until next time, it's your boy Georgia Picker and the wifey. Catch you guys next video. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.